My name is Kolebali Yezuma Pascal. I am from Burkina Faso, a West African country. I have been studying in the Assumption University of Thailand for four years in the Vincent Mary School of Engineering and my major is Mechatronics. The name of this project is Automated Medication System. It is in partial fulfillment of the requirement of the Bachelor of Engineering in Mechatronics. I have come out with this project especially for it to work in health, in medical units to dispense pills. Basically, that is the function. And there were two people who made the project, my classmate Abshan Mohammed and our advisor was Assistant Professor Dr. Jiradek Kontong. The automated medication system has three main parts. First, the dispensing mechanism that is on top. It is made up of eight tubes that take each one type of medicine. And the second part is the main board. The main board holds all the electronic components such as the fan, the microcontroller, uh, the batteries, and the converters. And the third part is the base. In the base of the automated medication system, we have a pump inside the tank. We have to fill this tank with water. And now in the front of the automated medication system, we have a number of sensors. Here we have an IR obstacle detector sensor. When you order for the pill to come, you put your hand here and you have the pills. And there is another obstacle detector sensor here. When you want water, you just put it here and you have water dispensed. And another sensor is the temperature sensor. The temperature sensor read my temperature. And this is the temperature display screen. We have another sensor, the light dependent resistance. It means that when it is dark in the night, the device produces light for lightning system. And this is the radio frequency identificator. Let's say a medical doctor give me a card for me to come and take the pills here. I just need to come and pat the card here and I have my pill dispensed. This one is just to show the work process of the device. Basically, this is the presentation of the automated medication system. The work of the automated medication system basically consists in dispensing pills, but it has five main functions. First, in case I know my medication, I come, I can select from the mobile phone that is connected to the device through a Bluetooth module, and I have the medicine that I will take here. Second, in case I don't know, the pills I should take, but I know the symptom of my sickness. From the mobile phone application again, I select the symptom that I have, like fever, headache. When I finish again, I put my hand here and I have the right pill to take care of these symptoms. And third, in case I cannot read, or in any other case, the medical doctor gave me a card in which he recorded the pills I have to take. I just need to come and pluck the card here and put my hand here and I will have the right pill dispensed to me. The fab function is water dispensing. When I want water to take the pills, I put the cup here and I have water. And lastly, the device also helps for reminding me for the time of taking my pills. 
Now I'm going to show you how it works. First, the application is on the mobile, uh, my mobile phone. Here it asks me, please connect the Bluetooth, please connect to the Bluetooth module. Here the light is blinking to show that it's not yet padded. When I will finish the padding, this light will stop blinking. So I'm now going to pad my phone to the device. Yeah, you see here the light that was blinking now stop. It means that it is padded. And the first question is asking me, do you know your prescription? If I say yes, I know my prescription. It will show me the A type of pills I can take. Let's say I want to take pill A two times. One time, two times. I want pill F two times one time second time and i want pill b three one two three i want pill g two one two the signal is sent to the microcontroller here now if i want the pill i put my hand here this one is showing that the pill is being dispensed. Okay, it means that's finished and I have my pills here. Now in case I want water, I place the cup here this one is showing that the pump is working and the water is coming. And here is my water. Now I can take my pills. The second function, I don't know the pills I must take, but I know that I'm suffering. Let me go back. It asks me, do you know your prescription? I say no. Are you allergic to any type of medication or treatment? If I say yes, they will say no, go and see the medical doctor because the device cannot handle allergy. Let me go back. In case I am not allergic to any treatment, it asks me, are you allergic to any treatment? I say no. If I say no, it asks me, please, Choose which best describes your current health issue. Uh, respiration problems, digestive system issue, part of my body issues, other infection or allergy. I say that I have digestive system issue. And it asks me again, please choose from the following symptoms. Which best describes your condition so here I have heartburn it means acid reflux so I that take here heartburn so when I click here the signal have been sent in the micro microcontroller I just put my hand here to collect the pills yeah and I have it in case I want water I place here and the water is being dispensed here. But in case my symptom is, okay, like diarrhea, I click here. When I click, the signal is being sent here and I collect here my drugs. Yeah. The benefit of the automated medication system are many. It can be reprogrammed to match many places. It can be put in the, into the factory, the hospital, the offices, and even in schools, where when people have minor health issues, they can just come and take the pills they want. In case they don't know, 
the mobile app can also direct them to get the right pills they want. But if we, in our minds, we wanted it to work basically in the hospital, in medical units, it means at the long term our project will have wheels. It can move itself and also detect ob obstacles and avoid them. That means the medical doctor can give cards to the patients. So when the time of taking the pills arrive, the automated medication system goes by the by bedside and the patient only put the card here and have the pill dispensed. So the medical doctors can use it, the nurses, the patient, and even outsiders, if you don't want to go to the pharmacy, you can come directly here and have your pills. Actually, I have learned a lot from this project with my friend Mohammed Afshan. First, we got very familiarized with the sensors, the programming, also the power converters, like the back converters, and also to design the mechanism ourselves. The dispensing mechanism on top here has been designed by ourselves through AutoCAD. We also use the 3D printing using the laser cutting, but we went to the shop to do that one. It also helped us to be more familiar with the electronic components, such as the relays, the capacitors, the diodes, the resistors. So what I can say, what the lecturers have been teaching us in the class, we put it into practice here. And it was a very amazing time for us and we like it so much. My impression about the Assumption University of Thailand is a very good one. I really like it. A very beautiful university with all the facilities. And what first amazed me when I came here in the university is the big cathedral of learning. The library where we can get every kind of book that we want. Even e-books, the copies. And even during the COVID-19 pandemic situation, we cannot have the hardware of the book, like the book itself, but the librarian, they help us to get the online material of the book and it helps us a lot. And also, for what I know in my faculty, we have many laboratories where we have to go and do practice. And we have been seeing the equipment. They are quite expensive. And I, think, I don't think that we can get easily this kind of equipment in other universities. And also, Assumption University, I also like the discipline that is there. And people are also very kind, the lecturers, the faculty members, welcoming. And it was a very good environment for me to study and to get my bachelor degree.